guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Um, I haven't posted in a really long time except for my Mexico vlog which I posted a couple of weeks ago which if you haven't seen yet please go and check it out. Other than that the last time I posted was in August last year which was my everyday makeup look so I thought I'd come back and post an updated version for you guys. Um, obviously some of the products are still the same as I have a lot of products that I love they're my go-tos, my favourites, my everydays. They're, you'll always find them in my handbag or my makeup bag. Um, but obviously since then, techniques have changed and I have updated some products. So if you want to see how I achieved this look, which is my everyday look, then please keep watching. The Rimmel Hashtag Insta Fixing Go. It's a 2-in-1 primer and setting spray. Um, yesterday I actually just used it as a setting spray and my makeup lasted a really long time. It was a great product but so today I'm going to use it as both a primer and a setting spray and just see how that goes. Next for my foundation I've been using the Hourglass uh, Vanish Stick in the colour Nude. It's a really good coverage stick foundation and super easy to blend in and honestly it kind of feels like even though the coverage is really good you, you don't feel like you have anything on all day. Just take a damp beauty blender and blend that all in. Next, I go in with my NARS creamy concealer in the colour custard. Then I take my Chanel Creamy Bronzer and I just use my Sephora Multitasker Contour Brush. And then I take a new damp beauty blender and just blend that all in. And then using my MAC brush, which I can't actually see what number it is because it has come off where I use it so often, um, I just blend the contour in. My collection Sheer Loose Powder. Um, in the number two which is just a translucent powder and my eco tools powder brush and then i tend to just tap it just to make sure you get rid of any excess product and then just press it in gently to where we applied the nars creamy concealer just to set that Then I take my NARS Orgasm Blusher, which is one of my absolute favourites. It's so pigmented, but it's not too pink. The Bobbi Brown Bronzing Powder in the colour Golden Light, um, which you can see I'm obsessed with it. I've used quite a bit of it. So I tend to just apply that to the same areas we applied the Chanel Creamy Bronzer. So I take the Anastasia and Nicole Collab Glow Kit. Um, I'm obsessed with this. So usually in the summer I tend to use the Sun Dipped Palette, but since I've got this, I've used it every day. Um, the colours are a lot more pinkier tones which works quite nicely in the summer. Um, today I'm going to use Glow Getter because you'll find with the NARS Orgasm Blush that it has already got kind of a shimmer to it. So if you then add Kitty Cat onto that, you do come out quite pink. Take my Benefit 
hard angle brush and the Anastasia dip brow in the colour soft brown line underneath the brow and at the top and the same down the sides and then just blend together throughout the middle And then when I come back to the t uh, beginning of the brow, I just lightly brush any leftover product. Once I've finished kind of my face look, I then spray the Mario Badesco spray, facial spray with aloe vera, cucumber and green tea on. I prefer, actually prefer this one to the rose water because I find that because of the cucumber in this, it's actually a lot more soothing and it makes your face feel a lot cooler. For my eyeshadow, I'm going to take the Modern Renaissance palette, which you can see by the state of it that I am obsessed with this palette. This is literally my everyday my go-to, without a doubt. I'm just going to take the Sephora Blending Crease Fluffy Brush and just slightly take some of Burnt Orange. This colour we're going to use is our transition colour, so this is just going to go into the crease of the eye. For a large angled eyeshadow brush, I'm just going to take um, tempera and just buff that in onto the lid and into the crease. Then just gonna take Primavera, I think, do not quote me on that because it's more than likely wrong. And just take a bit of product on there. And again, we're just gonna put it on the eyelid, but kind of in the middle, so you've got that kind of spotlight effect. And then taking the Sephora pointed liner brush, I actually don't tend to use this for gel liners because I'm actually more handy with a pen, um, so I tend to use this brush um, to apply my inner corner highlight. So for that I'm going to use the Forever Lit from the same Anastasia Nicole palette. The Sephora Smudge Brush, I'm then just going to take some more of Burnt Orange and just do the lower lash line. the lips I'm going to use my Kylie Cosmetics lip liner in the shade Dolce. I'm obsessed with this lip liner as you can tell. I don't think it's going to sharpen much more. So as I already have quite full lips I don't tend to overline so I tend to just follow the line of the lips and shade in from the side to the middle and leave the middle bits. And then I pat to blend it in. my Benefit Cosmetics Benny Tint. Um, I'm obsessed with this. I think I used it actually in the last one. I take it everywhere. It's always in my handbag. It's my ultimate must have. To blend it in. Uh, the final part of that I do for my lips is I use the uh, MAC Honey Love Lipstick. This I just lightly put in the middle just to kind of give it a bit of a contrast and add a bit more depth to the lip. And then again, I just. Once I finished all of that, I then use my setting spray, which is the hashtag Insta Fixing Go by Rimmel, as I used as a primer before. Um, I spray this on before I apply mascara purely just because obviously then your face is a little bit wet and you don't want to get mascara everywhere and it just saves. Having to get cotton bud out and clean everything up. Once that has set and dried, I then apply my Benefit Cosmetics Their Real Mascara. I use this in the shade brown just because I feel that 
because I've got dark eyebrows, dark hair, it kind of just gives me a softer lash look. The And that is my finished everyday makeup look. If you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and please don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more. Thank you. Video, and if you'd like to see more, please give it a thumb. Uh, uh.